Am I the asshole? For kicking out my girlfriend and her son after she invited her ex into our home? Throw away account. Me and my GF, Sarah have been together for four years. She has a son, Nathan, with her ex Mark. Sarah has full custody of Nathan with her ex having scheduled visitations one weekend of every month. Sarah and Nathan moved in with me a little over a year and a half ago and in my perspective, it was a little rocky at first. I've always been pretty protective of my space so making room for two other people was difficult for me. When Sarah moved in with me we agreed that the visitations for Mark would be held in our apartment as long as I'm home. The main reason I wanted this is because I don't know Mark that well, and I don't want him wandering around our apartment without me there. When we proposed this idea to Mark, he was fine with it. Now moving on to the real issue. Three weeks ago marked four months since Mark's last visit so I had asked Sarah when he was planning on visiting Nathan. My GF replied by shrugging her shoulders and telling me she'd ask. She never followed up with it. So a few days ago, I asked when Mark's next visit was and Sarah said she'd tell me when she knew. Nathan was in the living room but had apparently overheard us and shouted something along the lines of Dad was here last weekend remember. Sarah's face immediately dropped and when I asked what Nathan meant, she wouldn't give me a direct answer. Eventually she ended up telling me that for the past two visits, Mark had been to our apartment when I was working. When I accused her of going back on our agreement, she kept telling me this was her home too and she could invite whoever she wanted, and that it was fine because she was here and watching. I told her that was besides the point and she violated my trust. It blew up into a huge argument with ended in me telling her to get out of my apartment. She packed up and left with Nathan. Last I heard she was staying with her parents. I've gotten several messages from both Sarah and her parents calling me an asshole for kicking Sarah and Nathan out of their home for something so small. She's even been blasting me on Instagram and Facebook about how horrible I am to do this to her. It's got me thinking I might be the R but I'm not entirely sure yet. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Not only did she broke the only rule you had for whatever reason but she lied about it multiple times and seems never had intention to tell you until the kid revealed the truth. Off she had an issue with the single boundary you've set, she should have talked to you and renegotiated, but she didn't bother. And I'm sorry, but letting someone move in with you doesn't automatically makes you and them 100 equal residents in a house you own especially when it comes to conditions that were agreed on before the move. Not the asshole she lied to you multiple times, and when she got caught her response was to try to emotionally manipulate you into accepting this blatant violation of your boundaries. Even if this was entirely above board though she wouldn't have had to lie if it was and she didn't do anything with her ex, there's clearly no respect for you here. Not the asshole. All the folks voting you're the asshole are deluded. She lied about her ex visiting when you weren't home something she agreed to instead of discussing the need for changing the agreement in advance. Why doesn't the ex meet with his child at his place? Not the asshole. If she thought it was fine for her ex to visit your apartment, she would have said something and she did not. In fact, she hid the fact that he'd been there not once but twice. This was a clear boundary and she crossed it. That's a red flag there and I'm not sure you should be in a relationship with her after this. Not the asshole. While your reaction may have been on the harsh side, her initial attempts to dodge responsibility for breaking your trust is a major red flag. And her and her family's continuing to put all the blame on you shows that she is not really committed to your relationship. She hid from you for a reason. What else she hiding? ESH. She shouldn't have lied and that's weird. But, dude. You kicked them out like they were guests. You just said they've been living there for a year and a half. You kicked a child out of his home instantly on a whim, for something he had nothing to do with. WTF. I hope at least you consider this a breakup and are done with them both in your life, because if you have any notion of treating this as a standard couple's dispute that needs resolving after that. 
You're not TA for being upset but you're certainly the R for even implementing this rule for as long as you have for two people you're supposed to love. They're not roommates, this is your romantic partner and her child. The way you talk about their home like it's only yours is wild. And you're definitely an R for kicking her out with a child. Not the asshole. She does have the right to bring people into the home as you become a couple and has moved in. But that doesn't extend in any way to her ex. Even if they're 100 over and they aren't still having an affair which I wouldn't believe if I were you, you had a clear agreement on how his visitation would be handled. That woman and her kid are not some strays to adopt and kick out at first inconvenience. Also, I don't see what gives you permission to tell when and how said kid can meet with father in his own apartment oh, yes, you live together, you aren't renting it to them. Massive asshole. ESH. Her flying and you for this rule and just kicking THRM out. If you're not honestly prepared to share your living space where the other person gets the same rights as you don't move in with someone else, especially when this involves a kid. ESH except the kid, Oz. She shouldn't have breached your trust and lied to you. But you shouldn't have such a ridiculous rule indefinitely. Assuming you knew that visitation was done in that way, you added a massive layer of hurdle to cross, basically saying that it had to be at your convenience. Info What's the issue with him in the house? Do you trust your GF to know if people are sketchy? Do you trust her judgment? She's the R for hiding something that clearly was very important to you, but you're the asshole for treating it all as you doing them a favor by letting them stay at your apartment. You either want them there and are prepared for a cohabitation, which means discussing things as adults and not a this is my house and you get out of here or move at the first serious argument or you don't want them there, in which case don't delude them, especially a kid, about you being a reliable source of safety and shelter. Not the asshole. She lied to you about it more than once. If she was unhappy with the agreement, she should have discussed it with you. SH, she shouldn't have lied and intentionally crossed your boundary then try to hide it. But my ESH is based on partnering with someone who has children is tough and takes a lot of compromise. Sure, they should respect your home but it's theirs too. Nobody made you get into this relationship. Open communication is clearly lacking and doesn't forgive her actions, but your response was over the top emo. ESH. The GF is an A for breaking trust and lying. You're the asshole for tossing a nine-year-old boy out for something that was not his fault. You could have given some time to find new housing, instead you made them immediately leave your apartment. Which makes you the bigger of the two R's. SH, Sarah shouldn't have lied to you but you sound unreasonably controlling and immediately jumping to kicking her and her nine-year-old son out was beyond the pale. For Pete's sake you've been together with this woman for four years and are effectively a stepdad to that kid if you've known him since kindergarten. This is a crazy overreaction.